Hey everybody, this is uh, Combo Bomba from Creeper Craft coming to bring you a setup, a server tutorial. Hopefully, this can help out anybody that's having any serious problems. Um, I, I don't really know. Um, you know, I've been asked a lot, like, how do you set up a server? This and that. How's the server set up? So, I'm going to show you how I set up my server. And I'm going to give you some more kind of inside tips. For the fact, I, I guess I've been running the server now for somewhere around a month, um, and uh, configured files and all sorts of stuff, and I've made it run real well, real smooth. Um, the thing is, though, is that I'm running, um, I'm running a six-core um, AMD Black, 12 gigs, six gigs dedicated to the server itself, and um, it's it's a pretty good computer I mean it's it's a beast computer so uh, I I used to run After Effects with it I used to be an editor or whatnot so I run editing machine stuff like you know After Effects Sony Vegas I still use Sony Vegas um, I still use After Effects and I to use them all of course but um, we're not here to talk about that but the thing is, is that you need to you know you need to to make sure your computers up to standards if you want to run it unless you want to run um, an online server and pay money which is what I might end up doing real soon for my server to have it dedicated to only uh, one computer so I can use my computer for other things um, the thing is about this setting this up is actually simple the thing that you need to know though is what's hard is the uh, changing the codes and working with your codes um, if you use plugins like I do like mob arena is one of the biggest things that I've had problems with so far um, don't mess with the configurations in game configure it all outside of the game and use a here's another link I'm gonna provide three links well four links counting my uh, server link the fourth link will be an online YML paster which you can use for uh, anything I, I use this on a daily basis let's put it this way um, it works really well it it lets me know when I mess something up um, like for instance let's go into here and I'll show you plugins let's go into something that I have configured um, I've done a little bit of configuring here but I'll just show you what it does basically if you don't know um, what you would do is after you're done configuring you would copy your information here and then just paste it right here um, but one thing make sure if you're doing multiples make sure you delete it all and this says null on this side over here and then click YML so you know and you'll know it will tell you error if there's something wrong it will tell you an error it will tell you which line it's in which string line it's in and everything so you can fix that so that's one of the links I'll give you for running a server now another one of the links it will be bucket.org which is one of the links you should have at a hot link up here like I have mine or star on it uh, if you use Google Chrome the top one the reason why I say you should have it because you also come here to get your plugins the top thing craft bucket 1.2.5 dash R 2 dash O is out or zero whatever you would call it so I'm gonna go ahead and click it and I'm going to find out where to download it at which is right here um, one thing that you'd like to do or what would be really good to do is make sure you read your information make sure you read through their known issues and you read through their wiki pages to know what they're doing they also have uh, I think the wiki page to get to setting up a server is on here that you can it's just a link clickable um, I can't find it but I have it up right here and I will post a link in the video um, this is setting up a server from wiki it tells you part I mean pretty much everything you need to do piece by piece um, so the thing is it's it's real simple to make the server but it's like after you've made the server you know you have to do this you have to do that if you want to make a big server like I'm trying to do um, you have to keep it offline uh, that's something I didn't do I didn't keep it offline so I've pretty much had my server hacked modded done this done that all sorts of crazy things have happened because I didn't know what I was doing at first but now I'm I've gained a little bit of knowledge about the server running and tend to know now I'm kind of babbling on now uh, why we wait for this to download which I'm wondering why it's taking so long it usually doesn't take that long you can open up your notepad and then come to this page that I provide a link um, for setting up a server and then copy the first line 
And then if you're like me, like I am, I have a keyboard that is made for multimedia and editing. But the funny thing is, is that it doesn't have a times um, button, which is this, the times, you know, times 86, which means that means I'm running a 64 bit. I actually need this. This is a part that I need to make this run bat. And that's what we're doing this. We're making our run bat. So after you got, if you're running a 32, don't worry about it. You don't have to do nothing to this part. So you would go program files and then I, I just copy and paste it and put it in there because it works for me. And then make sure you go here and do, so it's, ah, hold on one second. I'll keep this up. So we got, make a folder. That's obviously the first thing you should have done actually or whatever. And then just taking your craft bucket, drag it in there. Then I'm going to open it so I can actually see the build of craft bucket I'm going to use. So right after craft bucket, we're going to type in dash one dot two dot five uh what is it dash r uppercase r there i'll put in an f um r two zero well two point zero very important that you get this right and now after that's done go ahead and just uh save it and you can save it to your desktop as a run bat so run an uppercase and then dot bat in the lower case just let that save to the desktop now it's created the file right here so we're good there so just gonna go ahead and um, pop this bad boy in here we'll cut it off the desktop and then we will paste it into here and then just click run and now it will go through all its things it will start its world um, operators list blah 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 it might say some warnings here and there um, basically it's just telling you none of the files are there so they have to be created so as you noticed over here they're being created <clears throat> um, and I'm sorry if I'm sounding like I'm trying to show you guys like something and you're a complete oblivious idiot to this so if you're coming to this and you are um, I hope I'm helping you a little bit more so alright after this is done it's done then you can join it um, the one thing is though is there's no plugins there's no nothing this is just like a dead world um, at the moment it is um, port is already open because I've opened my port uh, what you should do is go look As you notice I can't fly I don't have game mode I don't have anything special I just spawn there's a world it looks like crap there's sand biome snow biome next to each other next to the spawn um, if you're like me and you you know at the beginning I didn't really know what you know how to use world edit correctly um, and you don't really you know know the basics of world edit really or even how to get yourself oh look it spawned me right next to an NPC village over there um, I suggest you going through and checking your biomes I mean look this is just nasty looking <laughs> but uh, you know just changing them back and forth like oh I don't like the world you can um, it's really simple to replace so I'll show you how to replace that but while I'm doing this part, I'll tell you that you do need to open your ports like I was saying before. And you need to do that through your router. Search Google for your router name and, and whatever and get to that and open your ports up. Uh, 25565 would be the port that you need open. Um, to check that, you would go into command prompt and do IP config and you can look at your uh, IP4 address. Remember that ip4 address changes sometimes it is not always the same usually like if you were to change um all right here's the world of this server we just started i'm just going to delete now if you've changed the your router or something like that um if you you know if you've reset your router like some routers have my router has a reset button if I reset my router I'm resetting my whole IP address literally so uh, keep that in mind and, and keep a lookout on that because it's very important so what I did is I extracted the survival games too that I downloaded off the internet because I'm going to start a portal warp into my server to go into the survival game sooner or later um, so don't everybody get happy right away it's not going to happen if anybody's watching this video on that but uh, you know it will, it will be soon good we're only in nine minutes so you would want to take this and you would want to rename it to 
to world. It's always world. There's, it's never not world. Like, if you try to put the survival games in there, it won't even load it up as your world to play. So go ahead and just take that and pop that right in here. Move the server for tut. And then you can rerun it. Then it will prepare every region and spawn and all sorts of things in the seed. And it's done. And you notice it's a lot smaller because it already had all the files. And we can join it. Um, as of right now, of course, people would be able to join it if it wasn't 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Um, I don't have a lot of people on the server, but everybody that is on the server, i like to thank you. Uh, here we go. Let me op myself because I can't. Um, I'm tired. i got to put an OP. Op myself so I can break these glasses because it won't, won't let me break the glass here without op for some reason. Everything else I can break. Um, but yeah, this is the survival games. As you notice, I was able to just pop that right in, no problem. Um, you can also take, if you wanted your single player into your multiplayer, you can do that as well. Um, pick your single player, pick whatever world you've been building, and you're like, oh, I want to show this off to the guys or whatever, your friends and go to percentage app data in the start menu so you would type in percentage then percentage at the end again and you get the roaming file of course and then your minecraft and then you would go to your saves and you can also as well if you look like if you notice the survival games is here you can just put your worlds in it doesn't matter if you name it world because if you name a world it will reset if you got something named world in there anyways you can name it anything in this folder but if it's in your minecraft server it has to be named world if it's in your minecraft server folder so um i hope i have helped everybody out with any questions um and concerns or whatnot that you might have been having if you want to know how to install plugins most of them are easy um like let's go like let me just show you one real quick uh this one is nothing i've worked with yet so i don't necessarily know about it too much but I'm going to copy it because I'm going to put it in the server we were just working on and I'm going to paste it into there make sure it got into there and then I'm going to just uh, run it and then you'll watch it marquee loading loaded enabled successful enabled permissions plugin not found using buckets permission permission server uh, YML, empty, opting, ignoring to opt or whatnot, blah, 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 of course, all that stuff. And so if you notice, it's created its configure file, and then you can um, go into your configuration file and work with it. If there's a reason to work with it, which this one there probably isn't, because I think it's all, um, this is to do with signs, which is a pretty nice plugin. I'm going to mess with it. But I uh, hope I was able to help anybody out with their problems. Leave a comment uh like subscribe and all that other good stuff and come by and check the server out i'll post a link to that somewhere down below and all the other links that you need to get to all this stuff thank you